The RX 5700 XT was released in 2019. How much of a punch does it still pack here today in 2023? Well, we're going to find out. It was one of the best cards for its time, and the drivers have only made it just a little bit better. It only has 8 gigabytes of VRAM, and some people would complain about that, but for average gamers like myself, it is plenty in 2023. We tested it at 1080p, although some people have tried to stretch it into 1440p, but I like those high FPS numbers, so 1080p. ADP is where we stay most of the time. For these benchmarks, we use the Ryzen 7 5800X with 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM at 3600 megahertz on this nice fancy test bench. In Warzone 2.0, we put the settings on the balance preset settings. Now we did use some upscaling here. I like to use Fidelity Cast. FSR is okay too. I've just had more luck with Fidelity Cast. And in Warzone, we got anywhere from like 115 to 120 FPS, which is very similar performance that we got with the RX 6600. In Apex Legends at 1080p though, we put the settings all the way maxed out and we killed it with around 180 FPS. Really solid. That was better than the RX 6600. At this point in the video, if you're thinking, hey, I might like one of these GPUs. Well, wait till the end to figure out how much it's going to cost you. And if you're a really good person, you can press the like and subscribe button. Halo Infinite still stands as a very tough and demanding game and the maps are just sort of kind of crazy here in 2023. And depending on what map you get, your FPS could spike drastically or it could stay around the area that we have throughout most of these benchmarks and at the medium preset settings we were around 110 fps fortnite was the star of the show most of the time fortnite runs better on nvidia gpus even though i mainly play fortnite on performance mode that would kind of defeat the purpose of using a gpu benchmark for it so we used DirectX 12 with everything on medium except for the view distance we put that on epic and i turned shadows off but just because i don't like shadows and we got around 200 fps for the entire match here i think that's pretty solid solid for Fortnite with an AMD GPU. In Hogwarts Legacy with FSR turned on, we got around 110 FPS on the ultra settings. If you want to turn FSR off, you'll still get a smooth experience and it'll look a little bit better. Red Dead Redemption 2, we put it on the favor quality, the first level of that, which got a 68 FPS on average and the game looked pretty good. In Cyberpunk 2077, on the high preset settings, we got 84 FPS. You can pick up an RX 5700 XT on eBay with a link down in the description. They are around $150. If you're lucky, you might even get one for $100 like me. But if you're not sold on AMD and you just really want an NVIDIA GPU, then go watch this video.